Okay, so I'm Superintendent McDermott of Conosky Sea Cadets and it's a pleasure to welcome you all back to our new unit outdoors. Since March we've been doing everything from virtual cadetting, Google Classroom, Zoom sessions and ev absolutely everything else that we've had um, available to you, you've had it all fired back at you. So well done over the last few months. It's a pleasure to have you back um, as cadets physically in front of us so we can get to see you all again. Um, I hope you enjoyed this next couple of minutes of the video to go through what our new uh, policy is going to be and the measures we've got to keep everyone safe as part of our ship's company. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you all soon. So, as you may have noticed, we've had to move our unit slightly from our normal headquarters to a, um, a local area called Cairn Repair. In order to get there, you go onto Chester Road East or Chester Road West, turn into Rowley's Drive and follow the road all the way down to the end. get to the end, turn left into the gate and follow it all the way down to the end. Once you get down to the end, a member of staff will tell you what you need to do and where you can park. So prior to all the cadets arriving on the new temporary site, the instructors would have set up the unit before you arrive. So let's take a walk onto the site now and show you where the new outdoor unit is going to be. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the members of staff in Conosky Sea Cadets from the uniform staff to the unit management team for all their hard work over the lockdown period, helping us give the best experience to our cadets. As you can see from the picture, this is the format of our new outdoor unit. The field's been split up into four different parts. These are to help us manage the bubbles, and they're from A, B, C and D. Each area has been coned off with the gazebo in prime place right in the middle. You can see that the car parking is directly in front of the, the area. You can see two tabled areas directly in between the car park and the new unit site. Clearly marked with hand sanitizer and signing in, but we'll talk about that in a minute. If the cadets are being dropped off by their parents in the car, please make sure that you abide by the 20 mile an hour maximum speed limit on the site. When you come into the car park, if there's a queue of traffic in front of you, please let the vehicle at the front allow their cadet to exit their vehicle first to avoid congestion. And don't forget your uniform. Or your beret. When you arrive at the site, please stand next to a cone to queue up with your other cadets. There are two tabled areas. The first table is for signing in. We're trialling a new QR code way of signing in to avoid paperwork and contamination of pens, etc. Hold your phone's camera above it and complete the questions. If you've forgotten your phone, or don't have a phone with a camera that works with the QR, just tell the instructor and they will answer the questions for you. Once you've signed in, the instructor will ask you to go to the next station. Stand next to the cone 
and the next instructor will ask you to come forward. This station is for sanitising your hands. Use the equipment on the table provided and make sure that you sanitise your hands for approximately 20 seconds. Once you've sanitised your hands, the next stage is to go into your designated training area. A member of staff will tell you what area you are in for that night. Once you've been told which area you are in, make your way to that area and an instructor will meet you there. And once all cadets are present, we'll begin the teaching session. We are not taking cash at the moment for subs, so you will need to collect a form from a member of staff so you can start up your standing order again. Please make sure that the sum of £16 is given to the unit on the 5th of every month, starting in October. As you can imagine, we've had very little income since the start of lockdown and we really do need your standing order contributions to help the unit to progress. Most of you should be able to restart your standing order using online banking. But if you can't do this and you're having any difficulties, please contact the unit treasurer, Debbie Restall, on the number given to you on the form. Please remember that we must maintain two metre distance at all times. That means no shaking hands, but we can touch elbows to greet each other. Members of staff will be making sure that we maintain two metre distances at all times. Due to government guidelines, we can only have a maximum of 30 people on site at any one time. Remember, social distancing is there to keep us all safe, even if it does feel quite strange. Because we're outside, you don't have to wear a face mask, but if you want to bring one with you and wear it, that's fine. We have access to toilet facilities inside the main building. If you enter the building to use these facilities, you'll have to wear a face mask. So please bring one with you. You can even make your own at home. A member of staff will show you where the heads are inside the main building. We will be operating on a one in, one out basis. So please ask a member of staff if the heads are in use before making your way to the building. Once you've used the heads, please remember to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds using the hand sanitizer and soap provided for you. Once you've washed your hands, make sure that you use the spray provided to wipe down any hard surfaces that you come in contact with, especially the taps, the doors and door handles, and anything you may have used when in the toilet cubicle itself. Anything hard that someone else may touch when they go in the heads after you. If you injure yourself while on site, let a member of staff know as soon as possible. A member of staff is first aid trained. A member of staff will put a face mask on and treat any injuries that you have. And if required, we will phone the hospital for advice or even an ambulance. Your parents will be contacted as soon as possible if required. Please make sure that you're on your best behaviour while on the site. Do the sea cadets yourself and our unit proud. Members of staff will make sure that you're abiding by all the rules that we are normally abide by when in the unit. Anyone caught not abiding by these rules will be asked to leave and their parents will be contacted. Make sure you bring waterproof clothing with you in case it starts to rain. If you haven't got issued uniformed wet weather gear, then just wear a civilian jacket. That's fine for now. Due to the nature of having the unit open outdoors, 
there'll be times when it just starts to rain and when nobody saw it coming. In this eventuality, cadets' parents will be contacted, so make sure that you're either in the WhatsApp group, you have access to emails from us, or you follow us on social media for any updates. Once the session is finished, the instructors will then pack all the equipment away. Remember that we're not offering any stand easy at the moment, so if you want to bring a drink and some sweets with you, please feel free to do so, and you can enjoy them during the designated stand easy period. As well as being packed away, all the equipment and PPE used throughout that session will be then cleaned thoroughly by staff. Once all the equipment has been put away and cleaned, and we're happy that everything is secure for that session, the instructors will then leave the location, have a well-earned sleep, and get ready to do it again the following week. If you have any questions about what's been mentioned in this video, please contact the Facebook page or contact me directly and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you ask. All these measures are being put in place to make sure that every cadet, visitor, parent, member of staff or any member of the Sea Cadets or the public are safe while they are under our care. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon.